Hello everyone, this is Tommy for Foyer Neo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a walkthrough. In order to do a walkthrough, we're going to come up here where it says take render. That's going to be in the top right hand corner. Click on that. And now we are in our rendering mode. Now we're going to click on create walkthrough. We're going to just do create new. And now we'll have these options. You have high density and then you have low density. Of course, high density is just a higher resolution. So I always choose this one just for it to look the best. It's going to tell you the minimum credits that are needed to create a walkthrough. And this just depends on the size of your space. If you have a smaller space, it's going to use less credits. If you have a bigger space, it's going to use more credits. We're going to press proceed. And now we are in our walkthrough phase. Walkthrough is similar to how you will render a space. So we'll have the light options up here. It's still the same. We'll have day, evening, and night that we can choose from. Again, each one has its own presets and each one has its own environments. Um, you can choose your interior lighting. You can turn the light up in your space, up and up or down, and then you can choose the environment. So what, um, what you would see outside of your windows or doors. Product lighting, you can choose to keep on all the light features that you have rung in your space or you can choose to turn them all off. And then you can choose to turn the sun off and on. If we click here, we'll have cameras. So this is just showing us all the cameras that is in our space. We can click on a different room and you see once I click on a different camera, it takes me into that room or into that space, showing me what camera it is. This is just the empty space. Now it will not let you delete a camera um, within a room if that's the only camera. So keep that in mind. But since this is a room, but it's basically an empty space within my drawing and I don't want to show anything in that room, what I can do is that I can click here and make this my starting point. I'm going to click, click done. And now I'm just going to click hide for this camera. So now you see that this room, which is my empty room, it's not really a room. The camera is blacked out for here. If I didn't want to show cameras in this room, you see it's also blacked out or it's not going to show the cameras for me. But I do want to show those cameras in there. You can also click on the cameras here. And a good thing to keep in mind is that all cameras do a 360. So the cameras are going to spin and do a 360. I have my starting point camera here. And I don't have to make this one my starting point. Perhaps I want this camera to be my starting point. I'm just going to click here. And I'm going to make that one my starting point and press done. Remember, you only need one camera per room, so if I wanted to, I can delete out this camera and just keep one camera that's in here. I can click on the camera and I can move it around my space. I can just put it here in the middle, put it here in a corner, because again, the camera does do 360. I can come there in this camera. Make sure I want that one. Click here. If I want to add a camera back, I'm just going to click Add Camera. And I'm just going to click and hold it down. And now I have another camera back, back in this lobby room. We can click here to switch to 3D mode. And it's just going to show me 
the actual 3D version of it. Now this isn't rendered or it isn't fired yet. I can click here and just hop to different cameras. And this is the second camera that's in the space. Again, it's going to do a nice 360 for me. I did set frame, so I, I saved that view as my first frame for the camera. Now I can press done or cancel. So I canceled that out. I'm going to come back up here to cameras. And now let's go into the actual office space. Now I'm in my office space. I can just click on the cameras here. So each of these is the camera. Again, I can set the cameras where I want. And this is just a preview. So I can turn and see if I like this camera. If I have too many cameras, I do have the option of deleting the cameras out. So we can go to next camera, do the next one and jump through our space this way. We can switch back to 2D mode. And now since I'm in my space, perhaps I notice that this camera is not necessary. So I can delete that camera out. I can press just delete on my keypad, press confirm, and now I no longer have that camera. Also, I noticed that this camera is very pointless. Again, press delete on my computer and confirm it's deleted out. And that is how you delete cameras. We can do preview. And this is just going to give us a preview of how our space will go. You can use these arrows to jump from camera to camera. And this is how your client will be walking through their walkthrough. They have complete control over it. And again, this is, this is not rendered yet. It's just a preview of it. Click on this camera, hop into this space. You can click out of that. I can go back to back. And, and again, I can switch to 3D mode. It's going to let me choose high density or low density from here also. Let's switch to 3D mode. And when it says set as first frame, this is the first frame is what your client is going to see when they click on the space. Now, since we're facing the windows, we can come here to light in and we can change our environment or change, you know, our presets, day, evening, or night. Click out of that, and I'll come here. I'm just going to set this as my first frame, and we're going to press done. We're going to press back. And with that, when I press back, I did make a mistake and click out of our walkthrough, but that is completely fine because now we can go back up to click walkthrough. And this, the last walkthrough is going to be the one that we were just in and all of our settings will be saved. So we can click back in here and now we're back in our walkthrough. Again, we can click on preview. Down here, you'll see where it says room. And if you have named all of your rooms, which you can do while you're in 2D mode, you can just click here and it will jump you to each room in your space. If I like all of my angles and if I like where my cameras are, that is when I can come here and I can press generate. 
Now you see my credits have went down from 34, 30 something to 28 because I have deleted some cameras. So the more cameras you have, the more credits. Again, the bigger the space, the more credits because you're going to need more cameras. You're just going to press submit. And when you submit it, you can find this under your gallery where you can find all the rest of your renders at. Let's go back to Let's go back to back. You can find it under here where it says gallery. And you can find your render or your walkthrough here. I hope this has helped. Happy designing.